Good morning, dear colleagues, dear friends. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Yukuni, the president of RZT, for the invitation to take part in this, such a business forum with a lot of well-known delegates. And this site is chosen not occasionally because Sochi is not only the summer capital of Russia. That's the place we are implementing the infrastructural project for the Olympic Games in Sochi 2014. But let's think that 80% of the infrastructure used for these Olympics are constructed from the scratch. And it is also makes a significant obligation for the country, for the carriers, because in this case, they need to deliver a significant amount of goods to Sochi. And its throughput is not enough. That's why we need to um, reconstruct the railway infrastructure. Here in Sochi, there will be the first time when we organize the real multimodal passenger transports. We will decrease the number of buses and coaches by many times. And as Mr. Yukunian already said, that railway is probably the most environmental mean of transport. And if you come by plane to Sochi, you can switch to a high-speed train and then use different hubs in know to switch to buses to be delivered to the Olympic facilities. Here at the forum, we can see a lot of representatives from international organizations from other countries with a number of ministers. I would also like to thank Mr. Ramzauer for your agreement to take part in this forum. I remember what you said at the International Fair of Transport and Logistics, and you said that one of the priorities is the development of the uh, transport routes to Russia and why Russia and this forum is a a good confirmation for it. And the Minister of Transport of Russia met Mr. Carlos. We also discussed important issues with the Latvian Minister of Transport. And Maxim Zokolov had to go to the governmental meeting to Moscow. But he said that the actually cooperation with the Russian railways will be one of the priorities of the Russian ministry, and his welcoming word is uploaded to the forum website, and I don't want to read it. I would like to go back to my presentation. One of the main objectives of the uh, railway development strategy until 2030 is the deep integration of Russia into the Euro-Asian transport system, the increase of the global competitiveness of the Russian railways and the integration into Euro-Asian transport system is one of the main tasks which allows to use the competitive advantages out of the uh, geographic location because it is a connection between Europe and Asia. The Eurasian rail system will be more efficient on the global transport market only if individual railway networks of various countries, regardless of the existing differences in the technologies, are integrated in a unique system of transportation. Without Russian railways, we cannot uh, consider any efficient transport links between Europe and Asia. Russian railways, as uh, you know, link together countries uh, such as Kazakhstan, uh, Central Asian countries, uh, other countries, and European countries. Uh, and that is why we need uh, to engage in cooperation and uh, form international transport corridors. Russia has a powerful system of uh, rail main lines or trunk lines, uh, which make it possible to build communications and connections between Europe and Asia. We coordinate the efforts uh, between the involved 
parties, stakeholders in Russia and outside of Russia to efficiently use uh, the existing transport corridors, uh, which are shown on this slide. I would also like uh, to touch upon the current uh, policies of the Russian government, uh, such as the development of infrastructure and development of uh, the legislative framework, uh, the rail law, because uh, Mr. Yakunin has mentioned the need for its unification and uh, railway infrastructure will be discussed at uh, other sessions. Uh, in terms of rail law, first of all, this is activities uh, uh, to bring together the CIS and European rail law, the CIM and SMG, C, SMGS uh, uh, railway bills, the CIM uh, uh, has uh, become a unified uh, uh, railway bill or which uh, is uh, prepared for the entire uh, way without any change uh, in the transport. Its use uh, is um, the first step uh, to ensure interoperability, including legal interoperability, between the CIM and SMGS zones. Uh, we have also opened a list of stations which are open for uh, transportation with the CIM. Today, uh, this uh, document uh, can provide for any transportation from uh, the Russian Federation to other countries. Uh, one of uh, the most uh, promising methods of using this document is uh, using it uh, in China via Kazakhstan, Russia, towards Europe. Currently, China is developing very rapidly, particularly the Suwa region of China, where the transport potential is rapidly growing. China is uh, moving its uh, production capacities uh, uh, from the east to the west, uh, western part of uh, China to provide for more convenient transportation to Europe. That is why transportation from this part of uh, China to Europe uh, with using this SMGS and CIM documents uh, will uh, provide for a unified document. Uh, and uh, Russia's joining to this project uh, will make it possible to make this project really genuinely transcontinental. In 2011, the RZD Commission for Freight Transportation considered uh, the possible options uh, for transportation of uh, container trains uh, from Western China to Western Europe and uh, vice versa by using those unified uh, documents uh, at the first stage. Um, Transportation will be carried out from Urumqi uh, to Berlin. The implementation of this project uh, has been scheduled for this June, and uh, it will find out all the bottlenecks uh, for using this unified document. The joining of Russia to Kotiv uh, has also been implemented. And starting from the 1st of February 2009, various uh, sections uh, of uh, the Russian rail network have joined the Kotiv system, including the Luzhsk station, certain ferry lines, and um, the CIM document uh, will be used. Uh, the organization of ferry transportation via the Baltic Sea will make it possible to make uh, international trade more efficient, uh, first of all, between Russia and Germany, but also between Russia and other countries of the EU through optimizing transport costs uh, and uh, providing for direct transport links from Russia to Europe. Uh, the organization of rail and ferry service uh, in this area is also of social importance uh, uh, because uh, ensuring reliable uh, transportation uh, from the Kaliningrad region to Russia and uh, from this region to other countries is also very important. Uh, you know that Belarus, Russia, and Kazakhstan have adopted uh, 
or have been integrated into a single economic space. Uh, the formation of uh, the customs union and the single economic space uh, have uh, simplified the transportation of our goods and services. Uh, the various customs controls uh, have been removed in transportation from Russia to Kazakhstan and Belarus. Uh, in 2010, Moscow has been the place uh, for signing an, an agreement on regulation of uh, rail transport services on the terms uh, and conditions of a uh, tariff policy. The goal of this document uh, is uh, uh, to ensure a balance in the interests of all the stakeholders. Uh, the document is aimed at uh, determining the conditions of uh, rail transport activities. Uh, Starting from the 1st of January 2013, cargo transportation from or to the common economic space uh, will have uh, specific tariffs of each uh, member of uh, the common economic space to ensure the interests of all the manufacturers. Uh, the parties uh, also have the obligation to unify the tariffs uh, by means of uh, transportation, except uh, for transit transportation. Starting from the 1st of uh, January 2013, the tariffs uh, in each of the states uh, will be single. And the level of the tariff, however, can be different. Besides, uh, the agreement uh, formulates uh, the basic principles uh, of uh, calculating tariffs uh, to quickly react uh, to changes in the global economic situation and the internal economic situation. The government uh, will set uh, the uh, possible price corridors uh, and uh, Railway transport organizations uh, will be able to determine tariffs uh, individually and independently within those price corridors uh, guided by specific methods uh, set by the national bodies. This will also be controlled by the Commission of uh, the Customs Union. We are also going to put an end uh, to the uh, current system of uh, exceptional tariffs, uh, because uh, those exceptional tariffs uh, will only be set uh, for individual producers uh, if it is not uh, possible to support them in any other form. The agreement also provides for maintaining the current uh, tariff uh, system for transit transportation via the union, the single economic space. Uh, this is uh, based on the single rail policy of uh, CIS members uh, in terms of transportation of uh, transit freights. Uh, I'm sure that uh, maintaining those norms and standards uh, will result uh, in further integration on the common economic space uh, and increase the competitiveness uh, of uh, the Eurasian transport system as a whole. Thank you.